everybody, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every single time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. So before we get into some Major League Baseball action for May 15th, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to the VIP Club section, which has all the tools to help you make your picks. So it's a full slate of games, so let's take a look at some of them. We will take a look at six of these games. First off, the San Diego Padres and the Atlanta Braves. The Braves tend to play average up, while the Padres are average down. Joe Musgrove is scheduled to pitch for the Padres. He is 4-0 with a 2.08 ERA, while Kyle Wright will get the ball for the Braves. He is 3-2 with a 3.03 ERA. If you look at the pitcher profit also, you see that both of the pitchers are profitable. Good bets at plus 337 for Musgrove and plus 119 for Kyle Wright. If you look at the power rankings indicator for the two teams, Notice that San Diego is at plus 16, while Atlanta is at plus 15. Very even as far as that goes, although they're in, going in opposite directions. If you look at the over-under, you see that the Padres have been over in games three of the last six, while the, the uh, Braves have been over in four out of their last six games. The score prediction has the Braves in a blowout by a 10 to 1 score, a 52% level of confidence in the prediction. The two teams, as far as stability factor goes, a very big difference here. The Padres plus 9, the Braves minus 2, meaning that the Padres are more consistently performing with regards to their favorite underdog status. The way I like this game is I believe that the Padres are playing much better ball at the moment. Musgrove has been dominating. I think the Padres are the, the way to go in this one. I believe that they will win, but I would avoid the over-under bet. Next game we want to look at is the Houston Astros and the Washington Nationals. The two teams are heading in opposite directions, clearly seeing this as Houston is burning hot winners of their last six, while Washington is ice cold up. They have won just two out of their last six games. If you look at the over-under, you can see that Houston has been involved in more pitching battles, five of the last six games under the line, while Washington four of the, out of the last six games over the line. The score prediction shows Houston by a 6-0 score with a 71% level of confidence. If that holds up, that would definitely be under the line. Um, the power ranking indicator shows Houston around the top of the league at plus 29, while Washington, down as low as plus 3, has climbed back up to plus 12. The volatility oscillator is showing how stable the two teams have been. You can see plus 11 for Houston, very consistent, very stable on the upward trend, while Washington is at plus seven. Both teams are pretty well performing according to their favorite underdog status. That's really what that indicates. The way I like this game is Houston. Washington's just not playing well. Houston will win in the game, but I think this would be a lower scoring game going under the line. Milwaukee, Miami. Next game we want to look at is, we're gonna keep going down through here. You see it's a full slated game. They're gonna take a look at six of them. The next one I want to look at is the Yankees and the White Sox. This is the, the matchup of the day. You see that both teams come in burning hot. The Yankees winners of their last three and four out of their last six, while the White Sox have won five out of their last six. Nestor Cortez is scheduled to pitch for the Yankees. He is 1-1 one one with a 1.41 ERA, while Michael Kopech is scheduled to pitch for the White Sox. He is 0-0 with a 0 0.93 ERA. You can see that Cortez has been a better bet at plus $34, while Kopech is at minus 66. On the power ranking indicator, you notice that the White Sox uh, were at plus 28 just a few days ago, and they have dipped down to plus 19, while the Yankees were at plus 18. They are now up to plus 26. The score prediction has the Yankees by a 7-3 margin. With a 57% level of confidence, if you look at the over and under, you can see the Yankees have been involved in games over the line in two out of their last four, while the White Sox have been involved in games over the line in two out of their last six. The stability factor, you see the Yankees have been extremely stable. They are very consistently performing with regard to their favorite underdog status at plus 13, while the White Sox are moderately stable at plus 2. The way I see the game here is I think the Yankees, clearly the best team in baseball right now, it doesn't matter if they're playing home or road, they're just playing excellent ball. They will win this game by probably at least three runs in a game going over the line. 
Boston and Texas. Here's another matchup with teams really going in opposite directions. Uh, the Rangers averaged down, but they are 3-3 three and three over the last six. Not playing great ball, but much better than Boston. Dead status, they are 1-5 and five over the last six, and they have the worst record in the AL East. The power ranking indicator shows that Texas is at plus 21 right now, and Boston, they were down zero. They have climbed a little bit, probably because they actually won a game, uh, and they are now at plus four. The score prediction has Texas in a romp, 11-1 to 1 with 52% level of confidence. Not really a big surprise with the way that Boston is playing. Uh, the volatility oscillator shows that neither team has been particularly stable. Now, Boston was, they were up at plus six, and that was back on April the 28th, and they have just plummeted since then because, well, they're losing. Even when they're favorites, they are losing, so they have not been very consistent. I think the Rangers will easily win this one at home. This will be a high-scoring game. It will be a blowout. Take the Rangers and over the line. Kansas City and Colorado, Los Angeles and Oakland. The next game we want to look at is down the list here. The Philadelphia Phillies and the Los Angeles Dodgers. The Phillies come in average stats as well as the Dodgers do, but the Dodgers are in first place in the NL West, while the Phillies are still under 500 and trying to find their way. The score prediction is a little bit of a surprise, having the Phillies with a 5-4 score with confidence in prediction of 67%. Aaron Noah is scheduled to pitch for the Phillies, while Julio Urias is scheduled to pitch for the Dodgers. Noah comes in with a 1-4 record and a 3.83 ERA. Urias is 2-2, two two, the 2.10 ERA. But if you look at the pitcher profit oscillator, both pitchers have been very poor bets. Extremely Noah at minus $600, and Urias comes in at minus $105. The power ranking indicator has the Dodgers up as high as 27. They dipped to 18. Now they are back up to 22. Well, the Phillies, they were up as high as 24 back at the beginning of the month, but they went on a downward trend, got up back up to plus 12, and now are sitting at plus 6. The stability factor, you see that the Phillies are extremely not consistent at minus 4, meaning that they are not winning when they're favored, but they are winning sometimes they're, when they're underdogs. They're not consistently performing with regard to their favorite underdog stats, while the Dodgers are at plus nine. I really don't see the Phillies winning this one. It's hard to pick against the Dodgers at home as good as they are, so go with the Dodgers, but avoid the over-under. And the final game we want to look at is the San Francisco Giants and the St. Louis Cardinals. The Giants come in at burning hot, winners of five out of their last six, and they are over in five out of their last six as well. While the Cardinals are average stats, they are 3-3 three three over their last six, and they have been over in five out of their last six games as well. The score prediction has the Giants by a 7-0 score, which would not be over the line, most likely. that The, the line's never really set that low. Uh, again, the line has not yet been set for that, but 7-0 would most likely not be over. But the confidence in prediction is only 51%. The power ranking indicator shows the Giants all the way up to plus 28 with their recent good play. And the Cardinals have increased from plus 11 to plus 16. Are they consistently performing with regards to their favorite underdog stats? The answer would be yes, because the Giants are at plus 7, the Cardinals are at plus 5, both showing consistency there. I don't think that the Cardinals will win this game, even though they're playing at home. I like the Giants to win this game, I'd say, by three runs, but I would avoid the over-under bet in this one. So there you have it. Those are all the games we wanted to look at for May the 15th. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.